some of you asked me to show you what I was doing with the plant dyeing. So these are the samples that I did on the first day onto white linen. Uh, this was all done in um, a black bean uh, solution. So I soaked the black beans overnight, I think probably actually for two days. They had a bit smelly, so don't do as I do, do as I say. Um, perhaps keep it in the fridge. This is the third time or fourth time I've used the same dye. And this is obviously a large, a large piece of the same um, linen. Um, it's just cooling, it's still warm at the moment, so I'm going to probably take that out tonight. And then um, the, the reason I did different um, uh, samples was to see whether the um, pre-soaking are in different receptacles, like in a copper pan or or adding. I couldn't find the mordant, the, uh, the uh, alum that people talked about online, so I did it kind of without, but it seems to work. Uh, I did, um, that's why I did so many different samples. And then the big piece I've just shown you is uh, the piece I'm going to make. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it. So I'm just going to show you, this is the way I um, actually did it. I think you might just be able to see. This is not the black bean. This is the um, four avocados um, that I've been using since Friday. It's Monday today. And so um, before I put the um, fabric in to the dye, I make sure it, make sure it's really well soaked in just in plain water and then pop it in. You see it's it's pink rather than the black bean. It takes almost immediately, but I give it a good old squoosh around so that the dye penetrates the material evenly. On the first piece I did I didn't I didn't do this and it sort of came out a bit patchy. Which is perfectly okay if that's if that's what you want. And and I'm expecting that this this um this batch will come out rather lighter than the others. It seems that every time you use the dye it's um, force, if you like, becomes less and less. So that I will just push underneath and soak um, again, probably overnight. I, I haven't noticed a huge difference between soaking them for an hour and soaking them overnight, um, but I'm sure that scientists out there will say actually that's wrong. And then, um, this is the second experiment I did um, with linen this colour as opposed to the white linen. Uh, it's a slightly coarser, um, tighter woven, again it's natural organic linen, and this is the colour that came out the first time I used uh, the avocado dye. And then I did this larger piece of, um, of this linen, uh, I did that this morning, and it came out like this, which I really like. It's a very, you know, subtle and I should make something nice with that. Not sure what yet, but that's part of the fun. So you can see it's lighter in, um, it's lighter if you like in shade compared to that one as white. So you can, you can tell the difference. And then I did the same uh, with exactly the same fabric with this colour linen to start with in the black bean dye, and it's like that. So compared to the first one, this is on white. And this is on linen, so obviously you get a different, um, a different shade. And then I use the same, exactly the same bucket of, of black bean dye again um, on this fabric. Same thing, just that I used it the third time, and you can see that there's quite a different colour. I mean, I really rather like that grey. Um, so I'm figuring that for uh, I think I bought a pack of, of um, uh, black beans from the. Um, from the aisle I think it measured about 700 grams. I'm using a large sort of farm sized bucket and it's about half full, not quite half full and this will now be the third time I've used the black bean dye. Um, so I reckon that's pretty good, I'm really enjoying doing it. I'll try and take some photos of the things that I make um, later but I hope that I hope that sort of explains it a little bit about um, how easy it is to do. I'll write some notes about the process in case any of you would like to read. <laughs> 